Very soon, we are going to have some smooth, smooth sailing on the market. I talked about this in the Cardano video, but I do want to talk about it again. Institutional money will no longer be selling on the market. And specifically what I'm talking about is Grayscale via GBTC. Now, why I say this, and this is something that Arkham Intelligence actually echoed, is that they are going to run out of Bitcoin very soon. And what they figured out was actually 96 days. Now, <clears throat> the interesting thing about this is I said three months. So right on par there, we got the same, same idea here. And it, that's if they continue their current rate. Now, the interesting thing about this is they do plan on changing the way that they're doing things. For example, Grayscale CEO has assured the platform's Grayscale Bitcoin ETF, Trust ETF, GBTC would plummet in price over time. He stated, I'll happily confirm that over time, as this market matures, the fees on GBTC will in fact come down. Now, this, this kind of echoes what I talked about as well. I've never thought that they were going to get out of the market completely. That seems crazy because there's multiple billions of dollars traded per day in some of these larger ETFs. Grayscale has one of the benefits of being the largest ETF right now, but they're they're messing up because their fees are high, right? If if they weren't doing that, they wouldn't see the shuffle to other spot ETFs. They wouldn't see people, you know, liquidating their shares of GBTC, all those things, right? What he said was, we have seen this in countless other exposures, countless other markets, you name it, where typically when products are earlier in their life cycle, when they're new to be when they're new to be introduced, these fees tend to be higher. And as those markets mature and as those funds grow, those fees tend to come down. And we expect the same to be true of GBTC. Now, it would not surprise me if across the industry, many of these spot ETFs, they see very, very minimal fees. The more competition that enters the space, the more they have to compete with each other, right? Right now we're sitting with, what is it, 11, 11 spot ETFs. And there are some ones that are obviously more dominant than others. There are some that are, have higher fees than others. And there's going to be a big shuffle in this new industry in the near term, probably over the next six to 12 months. Now, why this is good for the market is it means, you know, all this pressure that we've seen along the way, right? All these, these early day sells during the week in terms of BTC, they're going to be gone. What that leaves is a lot of upside potential in terms of price, multiple hundreds of millions of dollars being dumped on the market each and every day of the week, apart from the weekends will not exist anymore. That's huge for BTC. That's huge for alts. That's how we take major steps forward. Now, what happens basically between now and then, right? We're looking at basically between here and June. The interesting thing, wow. The interesting thing is when we look back at history, alt season tends to begin about one to two months post halving. We're about a month out from the halving right now. You can see how these dates kind of start aligning. Now, it's going to be interesting to see what retail does here. Retail wants the market to move up. You can see that right now. Um, you guys can't see I'm pointing at the charts, right? So right now, BTC wants to move up. Retail wants the charts to move up. And we're, we're doing just that. We're actually, we're close to 67K at the time of filming this video. But the question is, is do we have enough to absorb what institutional money is dumping? I think we kind of do. And the funny thing is, is, you know, I saw a quote, uh, there was another article I was reading right now. The reason why institutional money is taking a step back is because they don't know what the market's going to do. They quote, quote, unquote, they don't want to catch a falling knife right now. The market looks like it's beginning to rebound again. DCA opportunities have flashed, you know, on my indicator, which again, if you guys want to check that out, link is in the description below. It identifies some great opportunities to DCA in, to DCA out. It'll let you know when momentum is changing, all sorts of cool things. Again, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. But what we're seeing right now is kind of a turnaround, a little bit of a reversal in the market. So we'll see if this week can give us a little bit different of a sentiment because that institutional money that's been waiting to buy, they've been waiting for some sort of direction in the market. Well, this may be the week where it starts to pick up a little bit and we can absorb some of this selling just a little bit easier. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts heading into the week, but have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.